What's going on, YouTube? Billy Rains here coming to you with the trucking news. How's everybody doing today? Me, I'm doing, well, I'm doing pretty good. Today's article is coming to us from CDLLife.com. We like CDL Life. We love CDL Life. Anyway, this is an interesting one. So the FMCSA needs our help. And the title of it is FMCSA asks public for comment on how to regulate self-driving trucks. So if you ever wanted to know how you could help out the FMCSA do their jobs along with doing your job, this article here, I'm going to put some links down below. I'm going to put a link to this article and I'm going to put a link to um, the actual like the actual FMCSA page where you can go and leave a comment and all that stuff. Also, if you wanted to, you can leave your comments right down below in the comment section and let me know what you think the FMCSA could do to regulate self-driving trucks. And while you're down there commenting on your way, hit that like button. It doesn't really cost you anything. Subscribe and uh, hit that bell so you get these news articles as soon as they come out. Anyway, let's talk about it. The Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, the FMCSA, is asking the public for comments on how commercial motor vehicles equipped with automated driving systems, ADS, should be regulated. On January 31st, 2023, the FMCSA issued a Supplemental Advice Notice of Proposed Rulemaking, a SANPERM, SANPERM, requesting input on how to establish a regulatory framework for ADS equipped CMVs, which are commercial motor vehicles. The agency previously sought public comment on regulation of ADS equipped CMVs on May 2019. ADS equipped CMVs have the potential to produce measurable safety benefits in crashes involving human error. ADS equipped CMVs, however, present operational characteristics and challenges that may introduce new and complex safety risks that need to be monitored and may require FMCSA to modify existing and or adopt new regulatory standards. ADS developers are actively engaged in the development, testing, and limited deployment of ADS, the FMCSA said. A lot of acronyms today. The FMCSA is specifically interested in three major areas of focus regarding self-driving truck technology. Whether motor carriers should be required to notify the FMCSA that they are operating without a human driver in the cab of the CMV. Two, how to regulate remote truck drivers. Three, how to handle pre-trip and roadside inspection requirements for ADS equipped vehicles. That's the one I'm interested in. Like, if you don't have a driver, how are you going to pre-trip the vehicle? Which I get what you're going to say. A lot of drivers don't pre-trip anyway. And maybe if the maybe if you start off at a, at a hub, then you could have mechanics checking them before they roll out. I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's why we need these big time, over the road, experienced truck drivers commenting on this stuff and letting them know how to do it. So then it goes into each one. Should carriers notify FMCSA before operating without a human in cab? The agency says that it is considering establishing a requirement for motor carriers to notify FMCSA that they will operate those CMVs in interstate commerce without a human driver behind the wheel, which that sentence right there sounds crazy. But that is the world we live in now, you know. Sounds crazy though. An In interstate commerce without a human driver behind the wheel. I don't know how that, I mean, I guess that's the future. The FMCSA specifically seeks public comment on the following questions regarding highly automated and highly automated ADS equipped CMVs. So then it's got some questions here. Also, I mean, you could pause these and read them for yourself. I'm not going to bore you guys with with reading all this and also there'll be an article down below that you guys should you guys can click on there'll be a link you can come read all these yourself should remote truck drivers follow the same rules as other truckers the fmcsa says 
that some carriers may use person operating as a remote assistant who would remotely monitor the level four or level five ADS equipped CMB and engage with the vehicle if the system was unable to perform a driving task or in case of an emergency. The remote assistant could also be called on to interact with law enforcement or other officials. So then it's got some questions down here. You guys can pause these or go to the link and read them yourself. These are like some detailed uh, things they have on here. How should pre-trip and roadside inspection rules impact automated CMBs? The FMCSA is also looking at whether additional inspection requirements would be appropriate for level four or five ADS equipped CMBs to reduce overall safety risk associated with the new technology and to account for their extended periods of operation without direct human observation. So then it's got even more of these questions that you guys can pause or go to the article down in the description. Make sure you hit the like button on the way down there or you can pause them, check them out yourself, whatever you want to do. This one's got some longer ones. Uh, see, like I knew that the uh, the the, the pre-trip and stuff, that's a big one. And you can tell because look at these. These are long. There's a bunch of them. <sighs> anyway, guys, I don't necessarily agree with the automated driving systems on the CMBs. I'm a truck driver, though. Of course, I don't agree with it. Uh, it's a big hot button topic right now. And if you want to let the FMCSA know what you think go to these links down in the description and let them know uh, I think they're mostly looking for questions or different things and I think that's good I think that's good that the FMCSA wants to involve drivers in their decisions and what they're doing but anyway guys that's gonna about do it for this via this I said vehicle that's gonna about do it for this video Appreciate you guys checking it out. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell so you see these as soon as they come out. And comment down below, what do you think about these gosh darn automated trucks taking our jobs? They take our jobs! Anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.